The Trump administration's response to the coronavirus has been an abject failure, and the American people have suffered the consequences. The President's gross incompetence and incoherent plan to respond to the pandemic has cost lives. South Korea reported in its first COVID-19 case the same day as the United States, but we have suffered 470 times the number of deaths they have. Tragically, in many ways, we are no more prepared now to address the pandemic today than we were at its outset. Just yesterday, months into the pandemic, after repeated calls for face coverings from doctors and scientists in his own administration, the president finally called on Americans to wear a mask. We are hoping that in an and this is an indication that President Trump may, at long last, be willing to take the advice of the experts on responding to the pandemic. We need real leadership at the federal level if our country is to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic and prevent more lives being lost needlessly. Administrator Gaynor and his agency have a Herculean task ahead in many ways made all the difficult by the president himself. Today our hearing is not about blaming China for the Trump administration's failure to take care of its own people. Frankly, we do not have time for such ridiculous attempts to distract from the crisis at hand. Instead, I hope to hear from Administrator Gaynor today about where we currently stand and how the administration can improve its response to the public health emergency. The American people are counting on us. Uh, as I said before, our hearts go out to those who have lost their loved ones to COVID-19 and those who are currently undergoing treatment. COVID-19 is an unprecedented global pandemic that requires an unprecedented response. Unfortunately, the administration's response effort was undermined from the start as China hid the disease from the world. The Facing an extraordinary public health crisis and China's deadly cover-up, the Trump administration has responded with a whole-of-government response. Since March, FEMA has helped lead the response effort. COVID-19 has been a global crisis with most countries competing for the exact same medical supplies. Every government across the nation has been competing for the same resources such as personal protective equipment or PPE. To further complicate matters, most PPE is made in Asia where the virus significantly slowed manufacturing and where U.S. law has limited authorities. Regardless of the challenges FEMA will continue to confront, the bedrock of our mission remains constant to protect the American people before, during, and after disasters. And the framework by which we accomplish this remains unchanged. Responses are most effective when they are locally executed, state managed, and federally supported. The nation is counting on us to accomplish our mission, and we will do so in accordance with our core values of compassion, fairness, integrity, and respect. Supply chains and bring back the capability to produce 